With the release of Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2017, we've extended NAV into Microsoft Outlook. For those professionals that prefer to spend most, if not all, of their computer time within Outlook, they now have access to the relevant and vital NAV 2017 details they need, increasing their productivity and efficiency and delivering outstanding customer satisfaction. This approach will allow for your professionals to work with either tool, choosing the system that best fits their needs. The standard toolbar in Outlook has now been enhanced with direct links to the NAV 2017 objects. The new links are on the far right side of the toolbar in Outlook. With these links, you can work with either an existing customer or vendor, or use the new option to create a new record, all without ever leaving Outlook. This approach makes for a more efficient, productive workspace. We'll now walk through three different scenarios using NAV 2017 in Outlook. When an email from an existing vendor is received, a request for an update to our records in this case, the actions needed can be performed right within Outlook. While viewing the vendor's email, just click on the Contact Insights button in the toolbar. The sender of the email, Rex Garner, is a new employee at an existing vendor and we need to update their records. At the moment, NAV 2017 does not have a record for Rex, so we will create that record first. Adding a new record in NAV 2017 is as easy as clicking on the link. We have an existing vendor record already, so we can just add Rex as a new person. Next, we need to link Rex to his company. Clicking on the ellipsis button, we can now see a listing of the vendors in NAV 2017. The search function allows us to quickly navigate to the proper record, Wood Smart Supply Company. Now that Rex Garner has been created as a contact and associated with his company, we can click the OK button. Once Rex's info has been updated, NAV 2017 will now show us the summary information for his company along with all the controls needed to work his account. With the interactions between NAV 2017 and Outlook, we can now open the full NAV 2017 window using the link to open a new one outside of Outlook. Inside the NAV 2017 window, we can use the Fast tabs to quickly navigate to the Payments tab. With the Payments tab expanded, click on the ellipsis next to the Payment Terms field. We can now see all of the different payment terms set up in NAV 2017 and can select the new payment terms required by Woodmark Supply Company. We've now updated the contact information for our vendor, as well as the payment terms. The vast majority of sales negotiations are now conducted via email, and the NAV 2017 functions in Outlook make this process very easy. An ongoing sales negotiation needs to be updated. The existing quote is a known value in NAV 2017, and the prior emails included the quote itself, delivered as a PDF document. Click on the Dynamics NAV 2017 links in the toolbar. Now we can see both the details on the contact person as well as the company that he's associated with. Click on the link to the company add-on marketing. We can now see summary information for add-on marketing. Scrolling down through the contact window, we can see the NAV 2017 tiles. One tile for each type of record or activity for that customer. The tiles will quantify the number of records within that type, allowing for an instant overview of the customer account. Clicking on the tile of ongoing sales quotes, we can see the details for that document. We now see the summary of the quote. Clicking on the tile here, we will drill down to the details. Expanding out through the NAV 2017 window, we can now reduce the quantity on the tables from 10 to 8. Next, we need to add a second line to the quote for the chairs needed for the tables. Searching through the items list for the second line, we can see all of the inventory items from NAV 2017. Now we can see all the details of the quote line by line, but the quote updated to include the new chairs and the right quantity for the tables. The fast tabs will show the details and information for each section of the quote. Each fast tabs section can either show a limited amount of information or by using the show more drop down, we can see all of the details for that fast tab. Once the quote's been updated, NAV 2017 can email the quote directly to the customer. When NAV 2017 generates a new quote and email, documents created as a sealed PDF, ready to be emailed. The NAV 27 functions in Outlook also extend to the calendar function, allowing for new records to be created there as well as in mail. For the previous email, updating the quote, a follow-up meeting can be scheduled. Use the standard Outlook function to create a new meeting. Send out the meeting invite, including the quote number in the subject line. When the day and time for the meeting comes around, 
the sales professional can make the call as planned, and by opening the meeting details in Outlook, we can now see the same Dynamics NAV 2017 links in the toolbar. Again, just clicking on the Contact Insights. The relevant NAV 2017 details are now shown inside the Outlook meeting. Scroll down to find the record tiles and click on the ongoing sales quote tile. With the quote now finalized, using the ellipsis button to expose the option, we can convert the sales quote to a sales order ready for processing and fulfilling. NAV 2017 provides immediate feedback to the sales professional, allowing them to view the new sales order that's been generated. All of the details of the sales quote have been transferred to the sales order. From the ellipsis, we can now email the sales order confirmation directly to the customer. Integrating NAV 2017 with Microsoft Outlook will improve efficiency and productivity. It allows your professionals to work within their preferred tools and systems with no loss of data or visibility.